Thank you. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the class of 2018 graduation. <laughs> Welcome, Ms. Rita Dove, President McCartney, members of the Board of Trustees, administration, families who have come from all over the country and all over the world, friends, and last but not least, you students. This is the 140th commencement. Seniors, this is your day. And it's a special one, not because of anything particular, except that we're inside for the first time in 15 years. <laughs> So I want to talk to you all today about time, because I seriously do not know where it's gone. We just had an awesome week without assignments, without deadlines, and without needing to wake up early. But it feels like just yesterday that we were looking forward to our summers between each school year, looking forward to our first day of classes, and yet here we are at the final stage of it all. I can't speak for each one of you, but for me, this passage of time has been such a blur going by almost as fast as reading period does. <laughs> but blurs don't make for good commencement speeches. So I'd like to remember some of what we have experienced together. It all started at President McCartney's welcome address my first year. During the address, I felt so emotional that I started to cry. I put my head on my dad's shoulder so that no one would see me. But behind us, a Smith College photographer with a good eye for capturing complicated emotions in a single image <laughs> took a picture and posted it on Facebook <laughs> with the caption, as orientation for parents draws to a close, here's a, sh here's a shout out to all the families who've been there for our new students over the years. Thanks for all you've done. And the caption seems so celebratory but to me, it didn't completely match my mixed feelings, my oh my god, what am I doing here thoughts. Most of you were also in this crowd, sitting with your families or new friends. Perhaps you felt like you belonged, but perhaps you were questioning whether you made the right decision. And also perhaps, maybe you were just worried that you would be asked about Whistling Vivaldi, the book we were supposed to read over the summer. <laughs> and then came our next year, second year the year that Smith rose in US News and World Report's annual National Liberal Arts College rankings, moving from 18th to 14th in the country. And this was mostly due to our improvements in faculty resources, selectivity, and reputation. And it was so great to hear that more high school students were considering Smith. But this was also the year of the infamous sophomore slump. We were no longer new to Smith as first years, and, we were, no longer, and we, were, we were not old to Smith, about to graduate, so some of us felt caught in this in-between. But there was also a newfound confidence on campus. We were navigating and pursuing opportunities, the opportunities that we wanted. Our interests became our majors. Our classmates became our best friends. Our professors became our mentors. We joined clubs and sports that taught us how to uh, throw a perfect three-pointer program a robot, sing our hearts out, or invest in stocks. Shout out to Smith College Investment Club. <laughs> then came junior year, the year when on my birthday, October 14th, architect Maya Lin shared her plans for the redesign of Nielsen Library. Nielsen Library was the building where we had studied all day or night or both enjoyed afternoons curled up in the reading room with a book and laughed at the instructions above the printer, I don't know if you guys remember, handwritten by the, a smithy to perform an exorcism on the printer if it started spewing out blank pages. <laughs> I'm excited for the new Nielsen though. We'll see it on our fifth reunion and feel proud that we were the ones to bear its absence while it was being built. Some of us got to spend our times abroad junior year. I know this from Instagram pictures. <laughs> I personally got to spend the year in London and will be moving back there after graduation. And no matter where you went junior year, we all experienced a major historical moment when in November, President Trump won the election. Whatever your po uh, political affiliation, I'm sure you remember that day. And now, senior year. 
We've all been asked the question, how does it feel to be a senior, right? Well, how does it feel? Before we got to campus this year, we anticipated senioritis and wondered if our eagerness to graduate would distract us from being motivated or performing at our best. And yet, I saw so many of you spending hours in the library and in the campus center doing work, saying that you were busy with an optional research project, spending your spring break in Houston, volunteering after Hurricane Harvey, putting together Weaving Voices monologue series, or organizing weekly lectures um, by professors from four completely different fields to present to seniors who didn't have a chance to take their classes. Smithies are hard workers. We do our best, we get things done, and change the world around us while we're doing it. It is no surprise then that we have some incredible graduates in the audience today. We have seniors that will be moving on to top institutions in their professional fields like Columbia, Yale, MIT, the London School of Economics, and John, John Hopkins, among, among many others. We have students going to work in tech companies like Google, nonprofits like City Year, schools like the Success Academy Charter School in New York City, and financial institutions like Morgan Stanley, and we have students who are still deciding their next move. And a whopping 14 members of our student body, of our graduating class, received a Fulbright Fellowship this year. and will be spending the next year abroad in the Republic of Colombia, Taiwan, and elsewhere. Remembering these four years as we experience them together helps us remember that life has more meaning when we remember to look back. Reminding ourselves of all that we've experienced, of the lives we've touched, and the lessons we've learned. What has our time at this small liberal arts college meant for us? Our worlds are bigger, we are more critical thinkers, we are more informed members of society, and after today, we are officially Smith alumni. <laughs> so make your adventures timeless, your love timeless, your courage timeless, and know that whatever it is that we choose to do next, as the moments and years pass, we will forever be impacted by our time at Smith. I want to thank my incredible family, my friends, my Freedman House Hashimi Unit D roommates for being there during the highs and the lows. And I'd like to send a special shout out to my family and my dad in Yemen. Barakallah fikum, God bless you. And lastly, congratulations to the class of 2018.